Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. It is now Wednesday and I've been, because of all the uh, work I've been doing, I've been I've been late going in and uh, fucking hell, I like booze on my arm. Um, late going in the ass and so tired, not not posting videos, end up posting them the next day uh, while I'm on my breaks and before I start working, that sort of thing. So from Derby Brewing Company, we're reviewing Quintessential. And it says it, it's a Moorish and crisp golden ale with citrus fruit flavours and a complex hoppy finish. A Seba national winner and regional gold winner and East Midlands champion winter beer gold winner. So, there you go. So, anyway, I'm just sticking, uh, I've did. I've cladded the front last night, the roof's on, on my, beer, on my hot tub room. And I've, I've scanned some doors the other week off the internet, some doors with glass in frosted glass, I thought oh, that's great for the hot tub. Anyway, puts one on. Um I was a bit I was a bit worried about putting it on to be honest, but getting the fucking match up and line up. Put one on, went on, pretty damn perfect actually. Uh just about the right gap underneath because it's gotta be a bit of a gap. Um and then I put the other door on, I looked and they're not matching at the bottom. I thought ah oh, shit. So I dropped it down a bit vroom, vroom, vroom. Got them up, matching perfect. I looked at the top and I thought, what the fuck, what's happening here? The one on the right hand side's only a, an inch bigger. Certainly a crippler than people did. Not, they're not the same doors. They're certainly not matching doors. But uh, you can't fault it when it's for free, can you? You know, beggars can't be choosers. So as you can see, gold into amber pour, white head. Ooh, nice citrus nose. Yeah, really prevalent that nose is. So, now I've got the doors on, although I've got to take that fucking door off and take an inch off. I would leave it, but they've got to match up because um, I'm putting a vent at the top to let the steam out. Uh, I'm getting a couple of, I've got a couple of spare doodars somewhere. And yeah, we're going to have a vent that at the top that opens up to, you know, let, let, let the steam out as it were. Anyway, what a wet day. Jesus Christ, got absolutely wet through at work. And bugger me, at the end of the day, sun come out, I thought, yeah, tosser. But my plants needed it. I got loads of plants, thousands of seedlings at work. And uh, they needed water. So I can't really uh, be disappointed in the rain, really. You know, it's, it's, it's there for a reason, doing its job. So I've still got loads to do on it. I'm glad I'm not a joiner by trade. It drives me around the wall. Having to do, I mean, at least with gardening, you know, I know how to get around things quite easily. I have to do some little bits of bodget here and there, you know, just to get by. But the, the main thing is, it, it, it uh, in the end, when it's painted up and that, you're not know any different. Things you do to save money. But then again, it's my time at home. It's, it's, you know, it's part of the fun, isn't it? I'm going to buy one of these tools to uh, to rip pallets apart as well. And then I'm going to clad all the inside and so the inside's going to look so rustic. All different shades of woods and that. And uh, sticking shelves in here and there. Eventually. When I get my shoulder back. Because using a drill all day. I don't know these people do it all day. Uh, you know, people who are drilling all day, it must kill the bloody shoulders now i suppose they've got better drills than what i've got my drill's only a, a cheap um i think it was a little old audi one work zone 20 volt but it's done a lot of work you know i can't fault the work it does it's not a makita though or a dewalt so yeah the citrus flavors are coming through nicely a little bit of hops in the background at the moment I've got two from Derby Brewing Company. I got it from Asda. I've got uh, Business as Usual and Quintessential. Um, just looking at their site. Three pound for a bottle on their site. Obviously, I didn't pay that at Asda, and this is always something you, you know, um, brewery shops are going to be more expensive than than your supermarkets. 
for reasons that you know they supermarket kits can buy silly amounts. This hop till you drop is another one of their beers. Uh, Bold Eagle, Blood Wolf. Well, there are a lot of them out of stock. Wild Beer, Rock Python. They've got a mixed can six pack, thirteen pound twenty five. That's not bad for six cans. Got hoodies as well. And they've even got a growler for a tenner. Is that pool for a tenner? I bet it's not. Tankards, mugs, brewery tour vouchers. Yeah, I mean, I want to go on some more brewery tours, but we've got Bob open chance at the moment, I don't think, you know. With all these um, restrictions coming back in, it's uh, it's not looking good on that front, but hey, oh, you know. Uh, the country's got to do what it does to um, sort things out, I suppose. That's a nice pint, that is. Definitely, definitely for me, a very good pub pint. I bet this is on the show. I bet this is on, in pubs in Derby. Um, I've never seen it in Nottingham, but I don't think many Derby breweries would come to Nottingham anyway. We've got a thing with Derby, you know. I am not really, I couldn't care less. You know, Derby, Nottingham, Derby are our neighbours. But obviously, with Derby and Nottingham Forest, there's a bit of that, you know, there's a bit of rivalry. Um, but I suppose it's the same as Liverpool, Everton, Manchester, Man City. You know, there's all there's all rivalries in, in the same city. Um, it's just one of them things in life, isn't it? You know, can't believe the doors an inch out. Okay, now inch high, private eye. Already made a difference near there. I'm not having two doors on the floor, so. Um, I'm looking to get rid of more stuff out of here. I'd like to get rid of all those chuffing cushions because obviously it's not going to be warm now to go outside and uh, sit on the decking. But I'm a bit, I'm a bit, because the weather might change at the moment. You need these daft weather conditions coming coming at any time, so you never know. And uh, I want to get that project done, get the decking done, get the landscaping done, then I can start doing some bloody home brewing. I'm, I'm well behind my, um, what I want to do. And, uh, well, that, my levels are starting to come down. Not so much on the, um, beers, normal beer front, you know, the, the reviewed beer stock, your levels, but certainly on my, um, Certainly on the homebrew side of things, the levels are coming down. That's because I drink too much. <laughs> oh dear. So today I'm at work and I'm pruning these shrubs that haven't been pruned in God knows how many years. Ten years. or It's got to be a long, long time. Because they're well out of hand. It's took me nearly four hours to prune about four shrubs which is fucking ridiculous the amount of stuff coming off them was unbelievable I'm gonna have a nice day burning wood at some stage um, that's one good aspect of this new job I'm in that uh, you know on a cold day in winter get all the wood get all the stuff lined up together and have a nice big bonfire and uh, you know get warm could have done that today really, with how bloody wet it was. We've done some burning. The farmers were burning, they, they were burning their rubbish. But, uh, that will come, I suppose. Oh. So, Thursday tomorrow, these weeks are flying by. Um, and, uh, you know. When you're in a job where you're dreading going to work, dreading Sunday evenings, thinking, oh, fucking hell, work. You know, you, you have elation when you come to Friday leaving work. And then, so, at the moment, every day does not bother me at all. It's, it's absolutely amazing for once in my life to be in that situation where 
I'm as happy as I can be. You know, you, I couldn't have it any better. But I suppose there's always that kick in the teeth that you've got to watch out for. So, you know, it's all it, it never pays to be too bloody happy because uh, you never know what what lies around the corner. Uh, I'm always a bit uh, concerned on that front, you know, in case anything happens, but uh, I suppose we'll see. If it, what happens, happens. Shit happens, and you know, there's nothing much you can do about it, is there, in life? Oh, dear. So now I've got to work out how the hell I'm going to do have some sort of flap system, a bit of flappage. Um, so let the steam out um, do I put a bolt on one side it's got to be easy because I've got it I'm only small and uh, not, it's not every time you can find a fucking stool or something to stand on so I've got to think of a way of doing it there's always a way might be that a screw uh, I have, I have a, a hinge two hinges and it drops onto the hinges and then to push it back up and then just put, push a piece of wood across. I'm sure I'll work it out. Yes, I'm sure I'll work it out. I can keep seeing that door blowing in the wind. Because I uh, the doors also don't match in the middle. But that's not really a massive problem because what I'll end up doing... I've got two bolts anyway, so I'm going to bolt into the frame top and bottom. Um, just to stop one of the doors moving at all, really. And uh, then the other door, I'll make it so that one door, you know, shuts nicely into the other door. I'm no joiner, but I can make shit, shit like that, I can, I can sort out. He says. <laughs> it's all good fun. It's all a good learning curve, isn't it, you know. And, uh, but we want to make it look good. It's got to look right, because if I put it on my Facebook feed and everyone takes the piss out of me, I can't be done by that. I mean, I don't mind a bit of piss taking, it's part of the course. But uh, you don't want too much of it. So, enjoying this. Um, it's, it's a nice citrus tasting beer, but don't get confused with um, overly citrus. You know, it's there's, there's the... It's there, but it's not in your face craft beer citrus. Same with the hops, they're there, but they're not in your face. It's not trying to be something it don't need to be. To me, it's just a good pub beer, and that's what all it really needs to be. Oh. And jolly decent it is too. So now it's made a pleasant day. I know the temperatures dropped down loads, but uh, it, um, it's still really pleasant. Um, you know, we're not in the in the winter months just yet. And uh, I spoke to at work today. I've done a load of cuttings. I put them in water, but they didn't really do anything. So now I've done them straight into compost. Uh, that really good compost that we've got. And uh, yeah, I've done them into there, and uh, um, <sighs> I forgot what I was going to say now. Fuck's sakes! Yeah, I've done them into the compost, and uh, the hope is that over the autumn and winter months that they root, and uh, you know, it's it's a way of. If you take softwood stem cuttings and uh, take off half the leaves, so there's two or three roots, you know, stems where the leaves were, and you put them in the compost, soil, whatever, and uh, try not to let it dry out, sort of thing. You can use hormone rooting powder, you know, that does help, I suppose. Uh, a lot, of, a lot of plants don't need it at all, and the ability to do that and. Um, grow your own you know you can save a lot of money and uh, 
coming from a background where I've never really had a lot of money. This, we've, had, we've had good times and we've had fucking bad times. But, um, you know, coming from that background of not being a rich person, of having to work for everything that we've got, you know, scrimp and save. And, uh, you know, um, being liberal with your money, you know, it's just one of those things. And in gardening, as in home brew really, you know, you can make a lot of booze and a lot of plants for a very low price. And, uh, you know, it's always good. It's good to, um, it's good to be able to do that, you know, to, for your money. You know, we're not all rich. Um, you don't know what the future holds. There's a lot of people in jobs that were earning good money that are now looking at the doll queue. And especially if you've if you've if you're mortgaged to the hilt, it must be devastating times for a lot of people out there. And I respect that, you know. Uh, people can go from millionaires to nothing in this you know, in a space of a click. Yeah, fucking hands are killing me. Um but <clears throat> frightening times really for a lot of people in the world. Yeah, not just in the UK, but all around the world, you know. And uh, until a vaccine comes, you know, you can't see any uh, any closure to this at the moment. Unless it just disappears and fucks off, but I can't see it, I can't. You know, you really can't see coronavirus doing one that quickly. And uh, you look last night on the, on what Boris was saying, and they're trying not. They're trying their very best not to do a full lockdown because they can't afford to. We're already in the shit with what we've already done, and uh, countries around the world are all the same. You know, China got away massively with it, but then the Chinese always wear face masks, don't they? You look at Chinese people because of smog. And all that they all wear face masks, face masks. So that's that's a lot of their culture, and uh, that's why a lot of the times they they've avoided it because of their culture. Us in Europe, America, we think fuck that. I'm not wearing a fucking face mask. Yeah, do what I please. Don't fucking tell me what to do. And uh, <laughs> and we pay the price. A lot of people have. Certainly, a lot of the vulnerable have. That's for sure. You know, a lot of this was took into care homes uh, by people un unwittingly. You know, because you'd never ever do that if you knew that. Um, you know, if that shit was about. And uh, yeah, I mean, the average age of coronavirus death is eighty, um, according to a news post I, I read yesterday. I mean, to be honest, I'd love to get to eighty. So. Uh, it's that thing when you get to a certain age, you start to worry, don't you? I've been worrying, and I think this is what a lot of the, a lot of my stress and anxiety comes from. When you get to a certain age, when I was twenty nine, I was like, yeah, twenty nine. Then thirty, you think, oh fuck's sake, thirty, what's that about? And then all of a sudden, you reach forty, you think, fucking hell, forty. And now, I'm forty nine, fifty next year, fifty next year. That's taking the piss. And uh, I may look 50 on the outside, I don't know, I don't really care. But on the inside, I don't feel 50, I feel as fucking daft and stupid as I was when I was 17 or 18. And uh, yeah, <laughs> yes, although I've grown up in the last few years, yes, I'm not as bad as I used to be, yes. I do think about people's thoughts these days and you know, try not to be an arse. Try. Most of the time. So, that was really nice. I've been looking up there, at the, you know, at the top shelf for the beers and for a while. Um, wondering what I'm going to drink, wondering what I'm not going to drink, you know, or leave it. Do I drink it? Do I not drink it? And, uh, yeah, that was enjoyable. 
Um, definitely a good pub beer. Better in a pub, I think, than... It's not a craft beer, per se, but... Uh, it's a more traditional beer with a craft element, because the citrus element is quite um, good for a traditional beer. So, yeah. Um, nice strength. And the aroma was all right. It was a good, it was an all round, all rounder really. A nice enough beer. For me, 4.0 out of 5. Yeah. A jolly good effort. And uh, one day in the distant near future, I'll probably drink the other one that I've got. Um, and that's it for this uh, beer review. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and uh, commenting and subscribing. We still can't do, I've just checked now, because you never know with fucking YouTube. Part of my French. I do apologise for swearing. Gotta imagine if it goes live now. Yeah, tosser. Uh, yeah, I don't drink anymore anyway. I need to crack on and uh, level up the uh, door. But uh, yeah. yeah, we'll get there one day, and then we'll do that 67 percenter. But we might do. I might do. Well, before I do the six, once we go live. Then I'll set a date for that. But then I'll also drink some of the some of my favourite beers. I think I might do a favourite selection, like a favourites review. Yeah, you know, bit of a pub theme, and uh, certainly for Friday and Saturday night when we're all when we all can drink a bit more. Although not retail workers, because Friday and Saturday is their bread and butter nights. I know that because um, because of um, Sainsbury's. Right, that's me. I'm done. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Cheers.